What's up, G G G G G G G G unit? Welcome back to Gabino Games, and today we are back in the Siege Battlegrounds. We are battling Reunion, Cipher, and we're coming from Just Cactus. Now, before we start the Siege Battle, let's go check out the defenses here. We got a tower full of that Kumun, Vigor, and Etna. We got a tower. Hey, it's a Karkano, Jogun, and that's a Savannah. Alright. How about this one? Red 11. A mix of Kumun and Savannah. With the Gianna, this one. And yeah, a mix of defenses, I must say. But generally, yeah, new defenses, new season. Let's go hit these towers later. We're just gonna wait for um, a little bit of the points to go around the siege battle guilds and then we'll go straight to the action. Here we go, red 11. Here's Ice Coyote with a Jean, Leo, and Diana attacking into this Kumun tower. We got Chivalry with the Double Pandas and Fedora. Next up, we got Girlberry with the Tessarian, Ariel, and that's a Villajuel. Let's go attack this one. Kumun, Gianna, and Savannah. We're playing a second turn team here. We'll let this Gianna go. Didn't go for the stuns. Uh, but that's fine because we do have a Tetra. And we're gonna go Oblivion this to Savannah over here so that we don't have to deal two lives from her. At the same time, we're not afraid of this Gianna, mainly because we have the Tetra. Okay. Look at the attack bars. Oh, but. Okay, nice Valent Rock. <laughs> I was gonna say. Yeah, that's a fast Gianna. <laughs> but again, let's go defense break this Kumun. Yeah, the Siren is just really good against those beast monks. I mean, those beast riders. Because at the end of the day, yeah, just oblivion them and you wouldn't have to deal with two of their lives. And a three versus one. That's a GGG Gianna. <laughs> OP defense though, for sure. Guardian 2 Inception. Next up, we have here a Lauren together with the Kaki and a Triana. I'm thinking we can cleave it with our Lucian. Let's bring in Frigate together with our Dova and the Lucian here. Let's see if we can cleave them. Yeah, Dova's gonna go first because he is faster than the Frigate. But Amputation Magic with the attack power lead from the Frigate. Nice, Sue. Okay, full speed ahead. Can we? Yep, survive it. Okay, good, good. That's good. And then... Yeah, we go for the stuns. Nice stun. And then... Oi. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> nice, Sue. OP defense from... Guardian 3 times 2. Okay. Let's see who's attacking this one. It's a Lauren Kaki and with a Molly. We got Moonho. Oh, okay. With a Frigate, Tion, and Lucian. A bit risky because of the Molly with the glancing, but you do have the Tion. Okay. Nice, Sue. All right. We got targets on this one the Karkano, Jogun, and Savannah. We got Ice Coyote with a Garo, Reiko, and that second week in Kali. Kaiser Joe with a Garo, that's a Masha, together with a Clara. Next up, we got Moonho, this time a Garo, Bird, and Second Awakened Rauk. Well, let's go hit this one, tight list, G2 tight list. I'm thinking we can outspeed it with our Tiana, but this time, let's play around with Bale instead of Zyros. Yeah, today we will be testing out new combos 
you know, uh, we have been building new monsters and hopefully it should work, right? But yeah, again, let's go bail with the flames of hell. A little bit of lag there, but come on. We should be able to dot them with the damage. Okay. Good, good. Oh, yeah. Nice combo with the bail. OP tight list. Man, that was scary. Lagging, but yep, Gucci. Next tower is a Carcano, Vigor, and Triana. I'm thinking let's go bring in a Fran with our second awakened Lulu and our very own Kaki. First to kill would be the Carcano. Um, yeah, I wanted them to use all their heals so that we could start working on that Carcano. Um, nonetheless, let's go start uh, doing a lot of damage here. Okay, can we kill? Nice kill in the Carcano. Yep, that was Gucci. Uh, three versus two now. I'm thinking we should kill this, yeah, the, the second wicked vigor, because, oh man, but the violent rocks. Okay, nice too. Defense break. Um, he's gonna heal. Defense break. No defense break. Come on. Okay. Oh no. All right, we should pop, yeah, Salvation Passive and kill that bigger. Okay, three versus one now. Um, yeah, the Strian is gonna keep focusing on our Lulu. Yeah, the Strian is most probably, and I'm 99.9% 99 .9 sure that, you know, she's going to be on that speed, crit damage, HP build. We got D-Head with uh, Skogul, Fran, and that's a Kaki. <laughs> LB with a Vigor, Triana, and a Kaki as well. Man, OP teams. And there goes the base. More of this Karkano, Jogun, and Savannah. Let's go hit it. Alright. Let's bring in our Garor, Rauk, and the Verdehill. First to kill again would be this Carcano, right? Mainly because, yeah, he can do a lot of damage. And then next to work on would be the Savannah. Ooh, nice one, Rock. We got a very angry Rock here. Didn't go for the scroll, but it's fine because we do have Bird who's going to increase the attack bars. And at the same time, team up coming from the Rock. Man. OP. That's a really nice defense. I mean, if you're gonna keep facing these defenses, you'll eventually run out of counters, right? But let's see and learn from our guildies. Here's D head again, this time with a Sierra Bastet and a Daphnis. Next up, we got KL with a Tessarian, Perna, and a Leo. Leo is really good against those Beast Riders. And here's Bible Black with the Gar or Rauk and that's a bird. Yeah, because, you know, Leo does lower down the speed of those Beast Riders, so they're going to have lesser damage going into your team. Next up, we got OE here with a Fran, Skogul, and a Kaki going against this Carcano, Vigor, and Triana. Here's WK with a Vigor, Kaki, and Triana. Alright, let's go hit Inception over here. Let's bring our Ikares, Skogul, and Lulu. It's going to be a second turn team. Okay. Um, let's put Immunity. 
I think yeah the speed tuning yeah we kind of mixed up our runes here but let's see if it still you know if it can still work because ideally Icarus should move after Skogul um, yeah because then the Skogul Atlas Stone will fall and then Icarus should be able to finish right but let's see oh but the violent proc though oh no yeah that's that's dangerous for our Icarus oh man um well two things here um one it may have worked if the triana didn't proc into a violent but at the same time um going into this ideally the skogul should take the turn before the Icarus, because then the Icarus may finish you know of course you will have to kill the triana first because even if you don't i mean if if you don't you know it'll just pop her salvation passive and then yeah well it's still early in the season and we are building our teams here therefore we are testing new combos but you can't beat Valen Prox. <laughs> Either way. Oh man. OP Inception. Okay, well, let's see what our guildies are bringing here. We got a bigger Lulu, and that's a Sin, coming from H Wolf. Here's KL with a tractor Lulu and Malite. Okay. Next up, we got Bible Blank bringing in a bigger Kaki, and that's a Lulu. Just remember guys, we are showing you here the teams that actually worked. Special thanks to our guildies. More of this Karkano and Jogun together with Savannah. I'm thinking, let's take another second turn team. Bringing in our Skogul together with the Jean. And how about Leo? Because then... Leo should, you know, lower the, def the damage coming from the savannah. Well, technically we will get the first turn with the attack bar reduction from the Leo, but then after that they're all gonna go. There goes... Oh! Oh no, the defense break. Ooh, come on. Provoke, please. Resisted. Let's put, yep, invincibility on the Leo. Throw that dust stone. And then. Okay, okay. Atlas stone coming. Alright. That's good. We Gucci, I think. Unless. Well, we can get provokes. Man, I have the resistance lead. They have the speed lead. Okay, nice violent proc. That should... Oh, well. Of course, we're put into the scroll. Um, nonetheless, here comes Torrent. And next up is the Atlas Stone. Alright. Man. OP defense, bro. OP defense from Not. Okay. Let's see what our guild is here. We got LD with a Garo, Rauk, and again, that Birdie Heal. It's really safe against this defense, for sure. OPLB Again hitting this Kumun, Gianna and Savannah. Let's again play around with a new combo that we are testing out. Um we have here Fang Yen together with the Villajuel. And how about Hei Gang? We got Shield Will going on. Yeah, this Gianna should increase the attack bars when she hits critical error. Oh, but the... Yeah, I don't know. Um, the Savannah kind of cut in. Yeah, I mean, but... And then now... Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, there goes Jogun. Man, I mean, but... Jo I didn't expect... I mean, Hagan. I thought that was Hagan.
<laughs> Can we survive this? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, because Higang works in RTA, right? But oh man, <laughs> we have to give it a try. And yeah, I will make that work. We will make that work. It will work. Uh, we just need to check the speed tuning and everything. OP Inception, man. Well, uh, let's see here. Okay, we got Elementalist with a Tessarian, Leo, and that's a Rakuni. Man, what the hey gang, though? Okay, hitting this Carcano, Iris, and Triana. We're gonna bring in the Water Twins, but this time with Triana instead of Harmonia. Yeah, Triana. Oh, oh wow, three turns already. Um, that's a bit bad, but we'll work on the Carcano first. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that should kill the Carcano, and then that's gonna wake up our Triana. Can we get a violent? No violent proc, but stuns on everyone. Let's go work on this Iris. Okay, nice Valent proc. Yeah, it's good when the procs go left and right or back and forth, but yeah, uh, that's Gucci. <laughs> yeah, three versus one, it's all good. Um, nonetheless, I would say Harmonia would be good still, you know, especially when you got that lower health although nonetheless of course Triana was a, a bit safer because she does have that salvation passive OP agent newbies next up we got here a Mei Wang yeah Mei Wang Molly Tower we got girl berry with the wow Mo Long Eladriel and Ziratu OP girl berry all right let's go hit times two I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but how about Rika? Let's play around with the Rika. Bulwark, Emilia, and Rika. Can we dot them to death? Oh man, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, I just real. Yeah, I just realized rushing into this, but uh, we should be able to work on them, right? But the shields, though, the shields will do. Yeah, will negate the dots coming from our Rika, and let's see. Yeah, we can keep putting Forbidden Galder. Um, if we get rid of the Molly here, we should be good. But the question is, can we stun? Oh man, no stuns going through. Oh, additional procs. Um, yeah, trying to save the Forbidden Galder. Break, yeah, we're not able to break through the shields. Oh man. Let's see, can we stun? Okay, nice stun. Stun and slow, right? Oh, but the cry of threat though. Let's see here. Uh, come on, lower down the health of this Ophelia. Okay. Oh man, shields again. Okay. Um, going for the stuns, right? Oh man, 
resisted. Yeah, a few Valiant procs from the Molly, and there goes the heels. <laughs> oh man, more dots. Nice one. Oh, <laughs> not enough. I mean, it may have been better if we brought in like a, I don't know, maybe uh, Bulver Emilia together with our, well, we did already use two of our Skogles. Um, at the same time, maybe a Molong perhaps, but then of course, bringing in a Molong against a, that's a Zingze could or is actually very dangerous. Um, at the same time, yeah, they're almost dead here. Yeah, get rid of the Ophelia. Oh, come on, dude. That was it. That was it. If she didn't proc Violent. Oh, wow. Three, four turns on the Molly. Yeah, we can't beat that. Um, yeah, because earlier, if she didn't proc all that, we could have killed her already. And if we killed the Ophelia, then we could have easily worked our way through the Molly and the Zingze. But right now they're all healed up and the Zingze has already done his uh whatchamacallit destroy damage on our water guys. If I had destroy maybe I mean but you don't really put Yeah there is a debate going on around um Bulwark putting Bulwark on destroy. I've never seen it. Um but that may take a long, a longer time, but yeah, what do you guys think? Please do leave a comment, we want to hear from you guys, and that should be very interesting to see, right? Um, at the same time, yeah, I mean, look at our water guys, we're just, yeah, I mean, <laughs> we can't beat procs. What do you think? Can we come back from this? Can we stun? Okay. Ugh. Not enough. What? Oh. Okay. Um, let's go heal up our Emilia here. Molly's gonna go, or is Rika? Okay. Alright. We got a 3 versus 2, but then we need to heal our Emilia. Okay, can we come back from this? Okay, dot and stun, please. We do have a Despair Rika. Highly resistant Molly. Yeah, let's try to save our um, Emilia here. Although the destroy runes on the Zingze, yeah, it's really making it a bit um, hard for our um, Emilia here. Let's see. Can we do this? Ooh. Yeah, we need our Forbidden Galder up. Oh, but additional turn. Yeah, interesting concept. Yeah, destroy on the bulwark. <laughs> Would have changed this whole thing. Yeah, um, another team that can work really well against this would be a Kumun together with a destroy Kumun, a violent speed, crit damage, HP Kumun, and a destroy violent rock. Yeah, we've shown you that in previous videos and that can work very well. It's just that, yeah, I also wanted to test other teams that we can bring with our Rika here. Um, it's just that, yeah, now that it will take extra long and a Zingze on Destroy can definitely change a lot of things. Especially a long drawn fight 
like this one. Um, okay, stuns. Come on, can we dot and stun? Um, well, we can slow. Only one dot, but okay. Here comes the forbidden galder. Although. Uh oh oh man <laughs> look at the health on our Emilia <laughs> oh man it's like I think that's the max oh what do you call it a ma the max <laughs> destroyed health <laughs> you can do on a monster I think it's like what 70% already um if I am doing my what do you call it maximum destroyed health uh huh Again, destroy is like what 30% of damage dealt, right? My uh, enemy max HP minus 4%. Oh man, I think this is a GG. Yep, definitely not against a Zing Ze Molly and a Ophelia. But it can work on other teams, but. We will keep trying this team. Anyway, while we're killing these guys or while we're losing, uh, shout out to SRNXZ and Crabs. More shout outs to Axe Palmond. We also, of course, got Traxors, Aeon Leaf, Wayne James, Wu Ong Ironside, James Hines, and of course, our guildies from Just Cactus. Special thanks to our guild leaders, KL Melody. We got D Head, obviously EI, also known as OE, Napat, Ice Coyote, Falafel, Ken, H Wolf, Batisang, Aust, Wang Wang, Moon Ho, Bible Blank, Kaiser Joe, LB, and Sky Zeppelin. Okay. Well, uh, yep, the destroyed health just, man, that's a GG. <laughs> yep, no more heals because we don't have any more buffs going to the Bulwark, so we're just sitting ducks here. There's no way the Rika can, you know, yeah, she doesn't cleave, she only dots, and there's a Molly here to heal and everything. So, yeah, that's a very good defense, um, it's just that... A very tricky one, of course, because if you don't bring in enough damage, you will get caught. And yeah, it's a really good, uh, what do you call it, black hole defense. <laughs> but again, that's a really good defense from times two. Especially towards the end of the siege battle, right? When you've used up your other monsters. But nonetheless, really good. Yeah. A tanky stall defense. Now here's Aust with the Wusa, Rika, and Belenus. It's going to work really well, mainly because you know Belenus does have AoEs and additional dots to, yeah, kill the defense. And here are the results of our siege battle. That's a GG well played to Cipher and Reunion. That was a good, fair fight, a close one at that. Now let's go open up our SSS trophy box. Let's see what we get. I'm thinking maybe a light and dark scroll. That's always what we're looking for. Oh, no shiny, but yeah, we got a blue box, but we got two of those mystical scrolls. All right, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Have a great week ahead, may the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one.